Hi guys, I'm Komsahan Peculiar and welcome to C++ Code Solutions, the channel where you'll find all your C++ code answers. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. This is so you don't miss out on any content that we upload on our video. Now let's get on to today's code problem. Write a program that mimics a calculator. The program should take its input to integers and the operation to be performed. It should then output the numbers, the operator and the results. For division, if the denominator is zero, output an appropriate message. So we're going to be using dev++. So now let's open it up and get starting on our program. Because the program prompts user for two integers, we'll declare two integer variables. The program also prompts the user to enter the operation to be performed on the two variables, which is a plus, a subtraction, division, and multiplication. These operations are character variables, and as such, we'll declare them as car. Now let's prompt the user to enter these two integers and the operations. Now, on to the mathematical operations. Mathematically, there's four basic operations, and these four are the operations we use for this code. And they are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We'll start off with addition. The sum variable will hold the sum of the two integers. So that we have a nice output, we'll output the first integer, the operator, the second integer, the equal sign, and the answer. Now we'll do the pressure.
difference variable will hold the difference of the two integers. The product variable will hold the value of the multiplication of the first integer and the second integer. So now let's work on the division code. The ratio variable will hold the value of the division of the first integer with the second integer. So the program should output an appropriate message if the second integer being the denominator is equal to zero. In this video, we used if-else selection control structures. In another video, we'll do this problem using switch selection control structures. So now let's save our file. We'll save it as exercise 2.
and now let's compile it oops we have an error over there on the second line the spelling of using oh another error there's a space between num and one oh and another error we forgot to put the semicolon on line 41 and now there's no more errors zero errors so now let's try out our code we'll try it out with the samples we'll enter the first integer three now the second integer four in the operation there is a plus right it's a seven so now let's try it out with the first integer for the multiplication program 13 and the second integer 5 the operation multiplication there so you can also try it out with other operations and different numbers please don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to our channel that's all from me today i'll see you next time on the next video